I'd like to add someone to this conversation, uh, someone I consider um, a, a really valued friend and colleague, uh, Dr. Daniel Amen. Now, Dr. Amen is a psychiatrist. He's a New York Times bestselling author and founder of Amen Clinics with nine locations across the United States. Now, his clinics have the world's largest database of brain scans for psychiatry, totaling more than 160,000 scans of patients from 150 countries. Dr. Amen has a new book, and it's entitled The End of Mental Illness. And it shows how most psychiatric problems are not mental health issues at all, but rather they are brain health issues that steal your mind. He says, get your brain right and your mind will follow. I'm so frustrated, Dr. Amen, that people default to mental illness when they never look at the neurological underpinnings of some of these behaviors. And you say that perhaps more often than not, that's where you should start looking. Most psychiatrists never look at the brain. And that is why stigma lives, because we don't see this as a medical illness. We see it as a moral failing, and that's just wrong. And when I started looking at the brain over 30 years ago, it just upended everything. And what I realized is most psychiatric problems, they're not mental, they're brain. And in this case, you actually uh, did some very sophisticated uh, scans and analysis with Cameron. And Cameron, you've, you've agreed that it's okay for us to discuss that here, correct? Yes, sir. And Dr. Amon, if, if you will, step up here so we can take a look uh, and you can kind of narrate for Cam Cameron what we're talking about. So SPECT is a study that looks at blood flow and activity. It looks at how your brain works. And it basically shows us three things. Good activity, too little, or too much. And then our job is to balance it. Here on the left, we're looking at the outside surface of a healthy brain. And then this view shows us the most active areas of the brain. And in the cerebellum, in the back bottom part of the brain, it should have the most activity. Let's, let's move on to Cameron. And so, healthy on the left, here's Cameron, and you can see all these holes, crevices, dents, which are a disaster for a young man. Okay, so this is the, this is the healthy image here, and that ties to this image uh, for Cameron now, correct? Correct. Okay, and so what are we looking at there? And Cameron, this is very important for you. Yeah. So Sorry. what we're seeing is the front part of his brain. Can I draw on it? Yes. The most important part of your brain, it's the largest part of the human brain, mm -hmm. focus, forethought, judgment, impulse control, planning, forethought, learning from the mistakes you make yeah. is significantly low in activity and blood flow. Okay. And his left temporal lobe here, underneath your temple, behind your eye, involved in memory, learning, mood stability, temper control is very damaged. And you can see the left side, which is here, more damage than the right, so I suspect, and here's the left side of his brain, that the injury was on the left side. Okay, so this is the left here. And it hurt his brain significantly. And then we did the scan twice. Okay, we so looked at this his was brain rest. at rest. Now here it is active. And when he concentrates, it's actually better. And yeah. that's good news because yeah those holes, your brain, you don't have holes in your brain. What it's showing is low activity, okay. and those areas aren't dead, but they're struggling. Yeah. And then when you try to use your brain, it gets better. Well, hey there, thanks so much for watching. And while I have you, 
Do you have a story or a question for me? If so, I do want to hear from you. Click on the link in the description and tell me what's going on. You just might end up right here with me on the show. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Click that little red button below. You know you want to. What are you waiting for? Do it!